Hi, I'm Jill again from the Boone Schaff Museum of Discovery here in Dayton, Ohio. Um, today we are in the geology vault. So in our geology collection we have about 15,000 objects. We have them sorted, I like to say, by things that once were alive and things that were not. So this aisle that you're seeing now was our once alive aisle. So we're starting the um, earliest, cl the closest to us in time, the Pleistocene or the Ice Age, and as we move back down the aisle, we're moving back in time. For, so for this segment today, we're going to talk about Ohio's Ice Age. And I want to talk specifically about a creature called a mastodon. So if you look right here, this is an adult skull of a mastodon. This animal was found in the 1960s at a site called Carter Bog right here in Ohio in Dark County. Um, mastodons lived at the same time as people, and they again lived right here in Ohio. So often people think about these large Ice Age elephants, and they think about mammoths. They don't always think about mastodons. Mammoths and mastodons are actually pretty different animals. They have a different number of bones in their body. They look pretty different. I have an image right here, and you can see this is a mammoth and this is a mastodon. Mammoths are taller, they have this kind of fat pad on the top of their heads, mastodons are shorter, more robust, um, mammoths have longer curved tusks, mastodons are sh kind of shorter and straighter, um, but if you're in a museum and you're looking at one of these skeletons and you're thinking, how do I know which is which? The easiest way to tell is to actually look at the teeth. So the teeth of a mastodon, as you can see here, have all of these little pointed cusps. So these are all three molars here. So this is the top. So this is the, the maxilla and the top of the head. So actually flipped upside down. So these have these sharp little cusps here. Whereas a mammoth tooth looks like this very different, right? It has lots of teensy tiny little cusps here and they're so different because they're eating very different types of food. Mammoths are living on kind of grasslands and the tundras. They're eating a lot of grass and tough things to chew up. So they really have to grind to get that stuff ready to eat, kind of like a cow, really. Um, Whereas you look at a mastodon, they're living in more of a wooded environment, a forest environment. They're eating branches, shrubs, leaves. So they have to kind of chop that up like these are little bitty knives. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna transition out to the lab and I'm gonna show you an example of what I mean by these different type of teeth with things that you might have in your own home. So let's go. So I'm going to demonstrate the difference in these teeth with a couple of objects that you probably have at your home today. So I have a piece of sandpaper, a scrap block of wood, a piece of just regular scrap paper, and a pair of scissors. So let's imagine that those mammoth teeth are this piece of sandpaper. This is a leaf and this is some really tough uh, blades of grass. So we have this sandpaper and if we're trying to eat these leaves we're not making much progress. Nothing really is happening, right? So we're not making it easier to eat this. But if we take that grass and we start sanding it down, you can see we're getting a lot of that stuff out to eat. Here we have the mastodon teeth. Now, the mastodon teeth, trying to eat that grass, it's just not working very well, is it? But if we take those leaves, no problem. So if you look at people's teeth today, our teeth, we have kind of both kinds of these teeth in our mouth. This shows that we can eat lots of different foods. So any animal, humans, mammoths, mastodon, dogs and cats, whatever, if you look at their teeth, it tells you a lot about what they eat. So again, I'm Jill from the Boone Schaff Museum. Stay safe and wash your hands. Bye.
Thank <laughs> you.